What's up guys, Ultimate Debate, and today I've actually got a pretty cool idea for a video. Um, I wanted to find out if I could play my MacBook Pro on Black Ops with a PS4 controller. Um, and it's actually a lot easier than you think. So basically I've got my DualShock 4 here and all I did was connected it via USB right here. This is a connection, I have my external hard drive. And then you just plug it into your controller. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do hardware wise. I used the, the remote or the cord included with the PS4. And then to make sure, just to double check that it's actually working, you can click the Apple logo about this Mac, system report, when that comes up, go down to USB, and it should say USB 3.0 bus, wireless controller. So it says it right there, that means we're connected. And then, let's fire up Black Ops. So, um, I did have to go in and manually turn on the setting to allow a game controller, but it wasn't hard. So I like the multiplayer, it's a lot easier and it runs e smoother on the computer than the actual campaign. So here it is. Sorry about the camera quality, using a different camera. Um, and also one thing to note is it does not work outside of the game. So like with PC, you can actually use a PS4 controller and hook it up to where, um, to where you have it Uh, it's where you have it, it's where you can use the touchpad as a cursor. You can move it around and, and do stuff. So I'm going to change the map because I don't want to play here. Let's do firing range. That's my favorite. Growing up, that was my favorite at least. So then here we go. I had it on earlier. I don't know if it'll stay on or if I have to re-enable it. That would be interesting. So It actually runs pretty well. I like the bots because with the Mac, it's actually Mac exclusive Black Ops. So there's not a cross server between PC and Max. There's only like 20 players on at a time. So I like doing bots. It's just a little bit smoother and quicker. So let's make sure. All you have to do is go into settings, controls, and then choose gamepad. And then right here it'll ask if you want to enable it. And it, earlier it was no and it, it didn't work. And then you hit yes. You just click on gamepad and it will work. And then now you've got a PS4 controller running on a Mac. See, I'm not doing very good. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Uh, you can actually see me playing. See, I died because I was trying to show the game. Whatever. There's no way. See, that's the problem with bots. No predictability. But anyways, guys, um, and like I said, if you pause it, you can't control the menu at all. So that's kind of a downside, but it's still cool. You get to use your controller. Um, it'd be really nice because for Mac, I don't, I don't want to buy gaming accessories. Like I don't want to buy a um, a gaming keyboard or mouse or anything. So with this, you still get a console feel. You get the portability of a laptop. So that's pretty cool. You can go to a hotel or whatever, play your games. I'm not sure. I'm gonna be testing more games out with it just to see um, what you can use with it in terms of compatibility because Mac is so limited on games. But I will probably release something on Twitter just saying, you know, what I got to work with it. 
um, in case it's worth it and I'll let you know because a lot of you already have this combination so now you know you can do it you can do it wirelessly this is just much faster and I couldn't get it to work I think you can so this is just a surefire way to make sure it works so that's pretty cool um, anyways guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one hope that I'll stop dying peace